need to stay sober tonight, though. <laughs> and this kick is going to be taken by Sims. Well, he'll let it bounce through for the touchback, and West Virginia will have it from the 25. Thank you. That's the look that's going to give this team problems. That's Iowa State's best chance. It's the title three-cloud look as you see McCoy taking it out of the backfield. They swing it out to him, and Greg Eisworth, number 12, is at 57 percent. This is third and short. Greer sacked. Back at the 49 by Spencer Benton, number 58, the senior. And it'll be fourth down in a punt formation coming up. And he's in safety back at the 15. High and angling for the corner. And the fifth catch called at the 18, a 32-yard boot. High snap. Throw in traffic. Ball was knocked away, intended for Matthew Eaton, number 23. Robinson, the safety, will be credited with the breakup there. And Marcus Sims is going to have to hightail it to catch up to this one. Wow. All the way back to his five. What a boot by Corey Dunn. And what a return here. All the way back to the 25-yard line. Really? Martel Petaway is in the backfield, and he'll take it right up the gut. That's a first down and more. Knocked down after a gain of 16 yards on being an afterthought in the top six in college football. Pressure package is coming. See if he can handle it. We're out of the pocket. Help coming, and he spun out of bounds at the 30. It's Eisworth. A loss of 16. Well, Jimmy Eisworth is going to come from this side right here. The pressure is going to come from deep on either side. It's kind of like a deep safety blitz. There he comes into your picture. Eisworth will peel off and then make his way back the opposite direction, back into your shot, never giving up on the play. That is just end-to-end. -end. It's the coverage on the back end that's making the difference. All kind of underneath routes, the little option coming back the other direction, staying alive. Pulling it open. Billy Kenny will boot it away. Eric Milton, this is again a short punt. He comes up and feels it at the 40-yard line. Oh. From the 39 on first down. That out pattern is picked off. Well, he just did not see the defender. And why he didn't, I'm not sure. Drayvon Askew Henry with the pick. The priest are out there. And what, whether or not he can make it and get to him is another issue altogether. Here's Akeem here, number 18, just on a little pivot route. He doesn't see it as Purdy. He just puts it right inside. It should be put in on that outside shoulder. Here has the Mavadir set up. That's a three-man rush. McCoy. It opens wide open for him. He's down to the 15-yard line. Cracked down by Brexton Lewis. Out of that star position, 15-yard line. Out of the shotgun, McCoy again. This time, really good penetration from Jamal Johnson, 92, the nose tackle. Off. Throw inside run game, but they're going to throw it this time. Looping it for the corner. It is caught. It is Sills. It is touchdown. Letting Will Greer go and throw this up top and letting his receiver go grab it. First of all, it was preceded by a play, same formation, but turned it off into a little basic dive. Bounce back. And uh, Northwestern had an incredible comeback themselves. And there's that magnificent ability with RPO, Spencer, from Brock Purdy. Just go the opposite direction. Montgomery job. pops free. No one on the back end. David Montgomery is back. He hasn't played in three weeks. Beautiful. Touchdown! It's Hakeem Butler! Wearing a suit of their own. Here it is, the switch route, going underneath into the back corner. All, it happens all the time. We see it. Guys not being able to discern who their responsibility is. Cut away in the backfield. Here comes pressure again. Big time pressure underneath. It's Jennings. He stopped well short of the first down. Great recognition. 30 and a 32-yarder earlier. This is a line driver that'll bounce. Short. Yeah, very short. He's hit three poor punts, really. Mike Lones on first down. Look at that. He is so good after contact. So good. Dorit Pitts, number one. You're going to get significant yards. Mm, problems there. Wow. It could have been worse, too. Second and 12. Take the jet sweep action. Montgomery will totally it again. 
How good is this kid? And it was an arm injury, a shoulder. Pivots. Nwangu has come in for him. Over the middle. Yes, the to Tyler Kohler. He's got it down to the two. Defensive coordinator for West Virginia. First and goal. Montgomery races in. Touchdown. 60 plus. God. <laughs> Green, 5 of 5 for 49 yards, in some trouble here, and scrambles out. Sees the sticks, makes the first down. Safety blitz. Here it comes. And down he goes. Braxton Lewis. Tim, the outside blitz, it can come from this direction or this direction. It comes from the high safety on the outside. That pressure right there is what... Force the issue at hand. You got to deal with that. When you be in Iowa State, wants to minimize big plays. Safety valve underneath McCoy. How about that high hurdle? Ahead to the 35, not quite to the original line of scrimmage. Way back at his 20 yard line. Yeah, they're going to have good field position, though. I think he's going to come back to the field. And he does not call for a full yeah. catch. He's a speed merchant. Look out. He's got the sideline. And his blocker wouldn't get out of his way. And ultimately, the tackle was made after a 46-yard boot. Let's hear it in. Sheldon Crony's in the game. Play fake. Purdy's pass. It's a slant. It's Butler. It's a first down and then some. He's inside the 40 to the 38. Kenny Robinson, Jr. to the stop. He's built just like Butler. It's the long way. And there's that speed you were talking about. And flags come down. They may have gotten some of the hit gear. In the way, and he arrived here in June. Purdy, crossing pattern. It's Kohler. The tight end touchdown. Timmy, here's why stick right here. Jason Witten made this play so successful. It's an option. Gets up the field. Turns inside out. That's a total mismatch, and this guy is on fire tonight. It's time for him to respond. A lot of heat coming. Trying to stay upright, but can't. Down he goes, Jaquan Bailey, number three. That's the fourth sack of the night. A loss of ten here. The front rolled into a single safety. More pressure now. Wow. Greer lets it fly, and it's caught. Near the line to gain to Marcus Sims. Oh, no. Billy Kennedy will punt it away, and Kenny gets a good one this time with Tariq Milton taking a fair catch. That's his best boot against that three-man front. Going outside Montgomery again. Well, he's just been unstoppable. He's going to be well beyond, beyond the century mark at the break. Uh, blitz again. Purdy lets it fly. In-man coverage, Butler. And Keith Washington over right now in man coverage. Well, number 28, Keith Washington. We talked about this guy was a walk on at one point. He gets that right hand up there late. They're going. Purdy's pass is intercepted at the three yard line by Josh Norwood. That is a big defensive play and just what the Mountaineers needed. But did he catch it? Let's take a look. I, mean, I think he, I think he, oh, I don't know. I don't know. After further review, <laughs> the defender did not control the ball and it hit the ground. Therefore, it is incomplete. <laughs> to the line yard this is tough. It will be a 40 yard field goal try. Oh, there you go. This could be returned. Look out. Go Picked up and going the distance. Derek Pitts. What a huge play that could turn and pivot this game. We were just saying we haven't called his name much tonight. Right up the middle, Bigelow. Boy, what an athletic play, Spencer. Well, he just came through right over the top of the head. And again, the rules would have precluded him from jumping over anyone. Instead, he got skinny and turned sideways, jumped through, and then got his hand up. That Montgomery, well, they stoned him that time. David Long. You know, Wani... Still only 97 yards of total offense for West Virginia, their lowest output of the year in one half. 
Playing prevent now. Just a three-man rush. Plenty of time for Greer. Well, he took a punch right there. Normally, he would slide down more quickly than that. The four-man look. Yep, he's coming with the game, inside game. Greer under duress now. Forced to run. Boy, that was a good pass, wasn't it? I mean, it was catchable. Thrown to Gary Jennings. Covered by Daytrone Young, number 25. Milton with a fair catch at the 18, a 46-yard boot. As we open the second half, and he had a magnificent first 20 minutes for me. Hammering him twice, and he's so good after contact. Derek Pitts will get credit for this tackle yet again. For a shaky start, yep. Spencer. I mean, he had some mistakes early. Well, he's taking the pressure and delivering, man. Butler. Around quickly, and you got a guy solid. You got to be thinking big picture to some extent. Nothing doing for Montgomery this time. West Virginia all over that. Shea Campbell, the first to get there. Deshante the, Jones is in motion. He's looking that way. He goes for Eaton instead. He's got a first down. Matthew Eaton, the senior from Norfolk, Virginia. Deshante Jones in motion. Here comes pressure. Off the edge. For Butler, and it's incomplete. Fans didn't like a little jousting going on with Bailey, and his longest coming in. The last one blocked, and this one is pushed. So, third down, the one out of seven. Pressure. Looping it and going deep. Gary Jennings. The intended receiver. And West Virginia very fortunate to be down only six. Yep. Milton back deep off the boot by Kenny, and he takes a fair catch. Clark. <laughs> Nwangu is in the backfield, and Purdy's pass. Wow, that's good stuff there. It was kept low. I think they're going to rule it. A catch yep. by Tariq Milton. 49 passing, 147 rushing for Iowa State. Purdy's pass is caught. He's good. He's right. That's Tariq Milton. It's a first down. The other one was a fake face mask. That he got. And the long move makes it kind of the other way. A little misdirection. That's good for a first down. Look at the penalties now up to 50. For Iowa State. They come at key times, too. What a tackle that was by yeah, Shea was. Campbell. Man, we were tough playing well. And if it bogs down, it helps the road team. No. Butler, Duncan saw a lot of the hills. <laughs> He's going to be back to the original line of scrimmage. Jennings is back deep along with Sills. And it is Jennings with the fair catch at the 11-yard line. Up the penalty marker. Got to hear this pressure coming now. Go with Pettaway. He is stoned at the line of scrimmage. Second and 23. Same blitz, double gut. Underneath. It's the screen to Jennings. <laughs> Stays alive. Gets some extra yardage. Very close. Only. Pettaway. He's going to be a yard away from the first down. Willie Harvey stuck him at 57%. They have been snuffed out tonight. If they convert those, Tim, that's a minimum of 24 additional plays. Good punt by Kenny. And three. Purdy House looking that way. Mix up. Flags down. Butler's got it at the 45 and is wrestled to the ground. Montgomery. Lots of green. And a first down. Wangwu is checked back in after the 20 yard rush. Beautiful. Looping it. Is it caught? Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> Deshante Jones. Touchdown. Jones is the, what they call the imp receiver. They've got X and then Z. Then this guy's in the middle. Number eight. Tariq Milton's behind it, but Deshante Jones is the guy that's going to get the bulk of these. He tracks this ball all the way and goes up and high points it. He's about three feet off the ground when he snags it. Number 15 delivered it just like he has all night long. Greer needs some help. Down he goes again. Spears got him. The redshirt junior linebacker. But that's all about coverage. That team. Greer looking long. Short. His receiver fell. 
it's incomplete. Or was it picked? It was. It was picked. Jennings, the intended receiver, and Payne picked it off. This is not at all the same team we saw in Iowa City three weeks back. Dante Stills makes that stop near the line of scrimmage. Corey Dunn will boot it away. This is an end over end variety. Sims makes the fair catch inside the 10. Kennedy McCoy is in the backfield. And McCoy will take it. Part of the issue has been the inability to get anything done on the ground. McCoy just picked up. Bubble screen. He went to a knee. Yeah, he did. Marcus Sims is going to be marked for a loss because he did go down to his knee. Green mm. sacked again. Seventh time tonight. Mike Rose gets him, the inside linebacker. And West Virginia, it's not their fault they didn't get to play NC State. Now from his end zone. There's a flag. Flag is down again. Now if that happened in the end zone, it's safety. Yeah, that's going to be a safe attempt. They got him again. The marker is in the end zone, and it is holding. And if it is while he was in the end zone, it is a safety. Watch the left tackle to just. Here's the just right there working inside. He gets that right hand and hooks him. Yeah, that's that's that kind of takes him down too. Yeah. And when he when he spins around, that's Spencer Benton 58. He had wrapped up. Here's the call from David Alvarez. Holding offense number 55. The fellow occurred in the end zone. Safety. Weak. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that from this group. There goes Montgomery again. Boy, he is something special. That's a jaunt to the 40. He's three yards shy of a first down. Guy has did some other things, but times well, change. By the way, he started this run with 169. He'll be well past that at a career high of better than 180 yards on the ground early in the year. Mm -hmm. They've settled down now. They're getting what they want. And Purdy wraps this one up in pretty fashion. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, they're rushing. Thank <laughs> you.